Autumn and Hope are going for a walk with their friends. It's 60 degrees outside. Who is dressed in the worst way? Hope. Autumn can take some of her clothes off, but Hope doesn't have anything to wear in case she feels cold. Ava and Olivia are camping in a forest. Suddenly, they encounter a bear on their trail. Ava stands still, and Olivia starts to run away. Who is in danger? Olivia! The bear might see her as prey and follow, and he's definitely faster. So it's better to keep your cool and slowly move backwards, keeping the eye contact. Haley and Savannah are making sandwiches for lunch. Who did something terribly wrong? Haley. She put rat poison in the sandwich instead of jelly. Delaney is on the road trip and stopped to make a couple of pictures. Lenore is riding a bike to a nearby city. Who isn't being smart? Delaney. She parked her car right under the sign that says parking isn't allowed. Jane and Charlotte are learning how to swim. Jane went to the lake with her little siblings, and Charlotte went to the ocean with her friends. They both jumped in the water alone. Who is in greater danger? Jane. In case she struggles, her little siblings won't be able to pull her out. McKenna and Desiree are late for school, so they're taking a shortcut. McKenna takes the way through the woods, and Desiree decides to go across a frozen lake. Who's in danger? Desiree. There are cracks on the lake surface. Ruby and Mary were enjoying their time outside when a storm started. Ruby hid in her car in the open space, and Mary kept swimming in the ocean. Who is not safe? Mary should get out immediately. It's dangerous to touch water during a thunderstorm. It's okay to hide in a hardtop vehicle as Ruby did. Paige and Riley are going on a date, but they tell their parents they're practicing instead. Paige plays tennis, and Riley plays soccer. Who's the worst conspirator? Riley. She's dressed inappropriately for a soccer game. Unlike Paige, she doesn't have any change of clothes or equipment with her. Quinn and Sandra are working in a garden. Quinn was told to water the flowers, and Sandra should mow the lawn. Who's doing something wrong? Quinn. She was told to water the flowers, but she's watering the trees. Everly and Jasmine drove to a mall. Everly left her belongings in the car, and Jasmine locked her dog there while she's shopping. Who's being more stupid? Jasmine. You shouldn't leave animals or people in a closed car, especially in the hot sun. It's the wrong way to get a hot dog. Mia and Stella wanted to get a tattoo and skip their classes to get home right after school. When they get home, they immediately run into their parents. Who's going to get in trouble? Stella. Her tattoo is right on her wrist, and there's no way her parents won't notice it immediately. Hannah's best friend is teaching her ice skating, and Lily is learning to ride a bike with her older brother. After several minutes, 
they feel like they've got it and ride away from their supervisors very fast. Who's least careful? Lily. Hannah has the railing by her side that she can grab in case she falls. Lily will crash to the ground. Kylie and Abby are bloggers getting ready for a party. Who is missing something? Kylie. She's charging her cell phone, but the cord is unplugged. Melanie and Delilah are walking home from work late in the night. Which of the two isn't being careful? Melanie. Although she's walking in a less creepy place, there are no people around. If something happens, no one will be around to help her. Sophia and Brooke went camping in the forest. Suddenly, they notice a moose moving towards them. Who is in greater danger? Sophia, who is wearing heels and will run slower. Brooke can drop her huge backpack and use it as an obstacle. Kira and Ava want to go to a party, but their parents banned them from leaving the house. Kira decided to sneak out using the attic window, while Ava used the back door. Who won't make it to the party tonight? Ava. Kira is quite risky, but Ava's dad is reading a newspaper in the backyard. Maya and Chloe went for a walk. Maya went to a forest and stopped to take selfies with a friendly squirrel she met. Chloe went hiking and decided to take a selfie on the cliff. Who is in danger? Maya. The branch above her is about to fall. Maeve and Sarah are cheating on their math test. Who is more likely to be caught? Sarah. Although she's sitting in the back, the teacher's looking right at her. Bella and Ashley came home from a party, which they told their parents would be a study date. Who's going to be grounded till the end of the month? Bella. She'll have a hard time coming up with a logical explanation for the confetti in her hair. Elizabeth and Kate are late for work, so they're driving above the speed limit. Which of them is in greater danger? Kate. She has many objects lying scattered in her car. In case of an accident, they may hit her. Ariana and Serena have to do their house chores before they'll be allowed to go to the birthday party. Who is going to be late? Ariana, the iron isn't plugged in. Since she's distracted with the TV, it might take her a while to notice. Jessica and Margot are jaywalking. Jessica is listening to music, and Margot is texting her friend. Who is in greater danger? Jessica. Although they're both behaving poorly, Margot is on a straight road where she can be noticed. Jessica is jaywalking before the road takes a turn. Someone might not have enough time to react and stop. Julia and Nea are taking a vacation to the jungles. Julia got tangled up in lianas. And Nea got stuck in quicksand. Who's in danger? Juliet. She can't get out, and there's a jaguar approaching her. Nea is relatively fine because it's actually difficult to sink in quicksand. Leah and her friend Caleb went camping. Caleb was bitten by a snake, and Leah is sucking the venom out of his leg. 
Amelia is on the trip as well, and there's a black widow on her neck. Who is in danger? Leah. It's dangerous to suck out the venom. As for Amelia, black widows rarely bite, and the bites are rarely fatal. Becky and Allison are both in a bathtub doing their morning routine. Becky is using the hairdryer. Allison is charging her phone while scrolling through the internet. Who is less clever? Allison. It's dangerous enough to have a socket close to the water, but Allison is charging her phone. Becky is sitting in the empty bathtub. She might be a little weird, but at least she's safe. Evelyn and Grace are on vacation. Evelyn is spending it in a desert, and Grace is in the wilderness. By the end of the day, they get tired and decide to spend the night where they are. Who's making a huge mistake? Evelyn. Night temperature in the desert can fall to 25 degrees Fahrenheit and she'll be freezing. Grace's fire will scare away wild animals. Emma and Avery are planning to go to the movies with their friends tonight. Meanwhile, they're enjoying a hot summer day. Who's not going to make it to the movies? Avery. She's about to cook the meat that has been standing in the sun for a while. In the evening, she'll get food poisoning. Scarlett and Emily are sitting on a beach in the city center. Scarlett is applying makeup, and Emily is texting her friends. Who is more likely to be robbed? Emily. Although they're both distracted, at least Scarlett has a mirror in her hands and can see if someone is approaching her. Ella and Madison are driving to their friend's birthday party. Ella is chatting on the phone with her boyfriend, while Madison is applying lipstick. Who is in greater danger? Madison. Although they both shouldn't be distracted while driving, Madison isn't wearing a seatbelt. <laughs>